in the previous video we created a sql clr uh, trigger uh, uh, i mean a do nothing um, sql clr trigger here uh, i added code for the trigger um, first we decorated the clr trigger with a attribute here the attribute name is sql trigger um, there are three properties first i specified a name for the trigger using name property of sql sql trigger next uh, we specified the table name uh, yump using the target property since the code is uh, running in the pubs database context uh, here yump is uh, qualified as a um, table from uh, pubs database and we asked or uh, we decorated this trigger that should fire whenever an update or insert happens so this is specified using the event property of the sql trigger attribute class so in general the trigger my clr trigger will execute whenever an update or an insert takes place in the m table of the pubs database right let's say when an insert happens or an update happens we execute this statement first first we are forming the sql connection by making use of the contact connection equal to true string once connection is there then i'm forming a sql string where i specified the table name as inserted here inserted is a virtual table um, it states the new record which a user trying to uh, insert in the database or modify in the database right so we are forming this sql string as a aggregated uh, with the aggregated statement count star and with a where class which states bonus less than 0 that means we are making sure how many record is there in the user attempt where bonus is negative in the third statement we are forming a command object using the sql string as well as the connection then we are opening that connection then using the execute scalar we are trying to execute this sql string since it's the execute scalar and it returns an integer here we are we are checking that integer is greater than zero or not if this num column is greater than zero okay i should have named this uh, num number of records okay whatever so if this variable uh, holds a value more than zero that means uh, uh, there is at least one negative bonus entry is attempted by the user so in that case i am sending a message stating negative bonus not allowed by making use of the sql context pipe so this sql pipe object is used to send this string message to the sql server message tab that we will see shortly while executing some query so once a message is sent um, uh, we are just uh, cancelling the transaction here cancelling the transaction means we are uh, we are cancelling the insert or the update which uh, attempts to enter a negative bonus to the empty table right if a user enters a proper value for the bonus that means a positive value for the bonus then we will never get inside this uh, if conditional block that means uh, there is no message sent and the transaction also not cancelled that means the data get modified or the dml statement executed well right now we will rebuild this solution here it shows that uh, rebuild is uh, succeeded and it just generated a sql clr trigger dll next we will deploy this 
using build deploy solution. All right. So we deployed this uh, into the SQL Server. Now we will go to the SQL Server. Here, if you see, I have four records here. First, I am trying to enter uh, a new record, one not six. So it said that one row affected. If I query this, I'll have uh, two records, one not five and one not six, named load savior, load savior. Now, let me try to enter one more record with a negative bonus. And you will see negative bonus not allowed. And even if I query, I won't see the 107 record here. Let me try to say P. John's uh, bonus as uh, minus 8500. See, the, the update also won't get executed. So here we are seeing a negative bonus not allowed again. Even if I query, I still see T. Johnson's 8500 with a positive value. That means the statement is not executed and rolled back. So in the message tab, we will see the negative bonus not allowed, which is coming from our uh, pipe object. That's all here. I'm closing the video now. Thanks for watching.